Hi and welcome to another video and today a little bit different again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to map the hypershift function on the new Razer mice here. This is going to work on something like the Razer Viper Mini that we're using now, or it's going to work on something like the Death Adder V2 or the Basilisk, anything like that. But it's compatible with Synapsys 3, it doesn't work with Synapsys 2. So what's hypershift? Before we even get into that, well this enables us to add additional configurations to the mouse here or keyboard if you've got it on a keyboard. When I hold back the side button here on the mouse I've mapped to hypershift and I'll show you in a minute. It then reassigns all the keys that I've got on a hypershift mapping. So if my right mouse button is assigned without it, I can assign something like X to it when the hypershift is down. So I can basically have additional key mappings to my Viper or whatever mouse you're using. And I can basically change that on the fly with a hypershift key. So in the Synapsys 3 software, you need to find your device. So we're using the Viper Mini here. I'm going to be doing a review on this very soon. It should be out now already, if not in the next few days, give you an idea of how this mouse performs. So once we're in here, we then go to customize. You've got standard key bindings here, or mouse bindings, we're going to call it. And then you push this hypershift, and you've got the hypershift key bindings. So you'll see at the moment they're identical. Okay. What we need to do is we need to pick a hypershift key button first. So make sure you're on standard. Pick your hypershift key. I use mouse button four here, which is the rear side button. On the left hand side, you can see all the functions that you can assign to it here. And you'll see the hypershift key. Click hypershift, click save, and now the back rear button is the hypershift key for the Viper. What we're going to do here is we're going to go to mouse button 5. We're going to reassign this to a keyboard function, which can be Y. I always do shift Y, but let's push it Y. <laughs> save that. So that's now bound to Y, which is the front one. So we bring up notepad. You'll see when I'm pushing the front button here, it's selecting Y. Yeah? You can see that. Then you get your standard left mouse button and your right mouse button which we're going to redefine in a second. So once you've got those mapped, whoops. So now they're mapped. What we need to do now is map the hypershift keys. So you need to go click on the standard button here, and this enables the hypershift option. We're going to rebind mouse five here, which is Y without the key map, without hypershift down, we're going to bind it to B without shift <laughs> every time. Um, and then we're also going to rebind the left click going to bind that to uh, key function two. We're going to do the right one here to something like X. Okay. So what you see now is default mappings, hypershift mappings. So standard mappings, we've got, again, we've still got the Y for the front one. We've got left, see I can pick up the thing and we've got right mouse button. Hold down your hypershift key, which is the rear one on this one. If I push the left mouse button, we now get number two. Right mouse button, we now get an X. That's it. Simple as that. So if you like this video, let me know if you want me to do any more tutorials on the Razer mice here or other mice like Logitech. I also could do it on that as well, the Logitech Hub. Until the next video, I'll catch you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.